Are you a veterinary professional who's interested in tropical animal health? So it's a very good course. Would you like to fully understand the concept of One Health in modern veterinary science? Already it is a One Health problem. It is no longer affecting the, 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 the animals alone. Do you want to spend learning time on the internet in South Africa and maybe in Belgium? I think I, I made a good choice. Do you value contacts with colleagues from all over Africa and the rest of the world? We are able to attract students as far as Peru, Vietnam and Ecuador. Then check this out. The University of Pretoria and ITM, the Institute of Tropical Medicine in Antwerp, have a two-year program called Master of Science in Tropical Animal Health. You've got specialists from ITM, specialists from here, and students are able to tap into, into the skills from, from. So there, it's a win-win situation for students when they join this program. Uh, not all students will uh, go to Antwerp. It depends very much on, on the program they, they have chosen because it's really tailored to what they are interested in. But, but many students will go to, to both places. Besides face-to-face -face education, most of the MSTAH consists of web-based training, enabling students to combine the program with a job. Crucial to the curriculum is the One Health approach, which recognizes that the health of people, animals and the environment are closely interrelated. But we now recognize that poverty has a huge role to play in infectious disease. So traditionally, we would have looked at foot and mouth, in isolation. This is a disease, there's a reservoir host in a wild animal, it spills across the cattle, the cattle are destroyed or vaccinated or constrained so the farmer loses money. That would have been approached by, by a veterinarian. Now we're looking at, we need social scientists to understand the attitudes of farmers. We need ecologists to help educate the farmer about pasture management. We need medical people to come in and look at febrile illness in the human population and the diseases that may constrain the farmers from being able to work optimally with the animals. The major learning objectives are the importance of animal health for human health and economic development in low and middle income countries, field and laboratory diagnosis of diseases in livestock and wildlife, disease prevalence and incidence through data collection, statistics and research projects, communication with professional audiences and working effectively in multidisciplinary teams. The kickoff is an induction at the Department of Veterinary Tropical Diseases in Pretoria, South Africa, and a field workshop at the beautifully located Hans Hoheisen Wildlife Research Station next to the Kruger National Park, one of the most important wildlife sanctuaries on the planet. The core of the program comprises four compulsory modules, research methodology, basic concepts of One Health, basic epidemiology and laboratory diagnostics, all to be done from home. The same goes for the theory-based optional courses such as advanced One Health or tick-borne diseases. Skill-based electives, partially at the University of Pretoria or at ITM in Antwerp and partially online, comprise topics like applied molecular biology or applied veterinary bacteriology. To finalize the program, you write a dissertation. Uh, we've had some feedback sessions yesterday, debriefing, and it's always encouraging. It's always um, you know, really good to hear that there's been eye-opening moments. Admission requirements are a primary university degree, proficiency in English, two years of professional experience and basic computer skills. This is what the students themselves say about the programme. Well, I'm a vet and I love working across um, the continent of Africa. I've done a lot of aid work and I hope that this will maybe take me more into that field of work in my future because we're learning about so many different tropical diseases and, and the One Health um, initiative as well. So how human health and animal health and ecosystem health are all interlinked. Yes, I would recommend the program to other students. It's wholesome, it's fun, it's uh, highly educational, challenging at some points, but then uh, quite rewarding. It's a really, really good programme because it's all online, apart from the first two weeks, and you have a few optional weeks where you can go um, to either ITM or University of Pretoria and do practicals, but um, it's very, very flexible. 